वेलकम टू द लेक्चर थर्टी थ्री ऑन कंप्यूटर डिजाइन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन ऑन लेक्चर थर्टी थ्री डिजाइन ऑफ सीज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मशीन पार्ट थ्री तो स्टार्टिंग विद द आउटलाइन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन डिजाइन कंसिडरेशन स्पेसिफिकेशन डिजाइन ऑफ वर्क फ्लो फॉर मोटर डिजाइन फाइनल एलिमेंट डिजाइन ऑफ द सीज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मशीन स्टेशन डिजाइन ऑप्टीमाइज डिजाइन ऑफ सीज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मशीन एक्सरसाइज नोमरिकल प्रॉब्लम एंड रेफरेंसेज तो कमिंग टू इंट्रोडक्शन जन geometry and topology optimization are used to overcome the disadvantage and allow switch electronic motors srm to compete with permanent synchronous motor in geometry optimization key design parameter of the motor geometry are optimized to achieve various design objective on the other hand the material distribution in particular design space within the machine domain is optimized to improve the machine performance through topology optimization and different measures of switch electronic motors performance which are used edge objective function for the performance improvement so these objective include the maximization of torque reduction of torque pull maximization of maximizing the efficiency and mitigation of radial pull permanization of acoustic noise and the vibration of the machine now coming to design consideration and specification so now the silk net motors are built from the fractional horsepower rating to megawatt rating and design of silk net motor need a special attention the major design consideration of silk net motors are Like a starting torque, starting current, rated torque, rated speed, power factor, rated power factor, and rated power and efficiency operation at different voltage and cooling curve. The electronic motor have several things for the motor: a number of pages, number of stator and rotor pole, rated power, the starting power, rated torque, rated speed, rated voltage, peak current, duty cycle, power factor, and thermal load. Now coming to design workflow for SRM design. For this, before understanding the computer design of aspect of design the designer needs to break down the design process into multiple sub part so in these parts could be referred as a sub routine or can be sold independently on the main design workflow so following section details a few of these sub routine involved in the design of srm which can be further used in the computer design process and this is the process of design work starting from sub progress in sub process of once with the sub routine 1 to and sub process 2 with the sub in and the design design one and end so before starting the design the scope of design needs to be assessed what is the parameter like for example the designer has flexibility to change or choose so what constraint are the design standard client requirement application requirement need to be considered and can the design be optimized if then what the objective to be considered now normally the objective function uh, are for typically as such as it can be overall cost Include the cost of material labor and maximum efficiency power factor, and could be single objective for one. Constraint can be for electron design, analyzing and lying inductance, possible flux density for that material, saturation limit, and physical dimension of the machine, and wiring. So now coming to sequential steps for design of each part of the electron motor. So calculate the main dimensions of stator core outer diameter, width of the tooth, stator core depth, slot width and depth, air gap length. Calculate rotor diameter, number of rotor. Pole, pole height. Calculate the wind. Calculate for the winding number of seat turns. Turns in each file. Conductor diameter for checking current density. Calculate main length, resistance, and copper losses. And five. Calculate the lying and unlying inductance and ampere turns for air gap, stator teeth, stator core, rotor teeth, and rotor core. The sixth is calculation of width of tooth core iron loss, total weight in, in kg per hour, and solution by equivalent circuit. Speed, torque, speed, curve, efficiency map. Now, for recommendation to join of air and air M4, good performance characteristic. The air gap should be as small as possible. Uh, attract typically attraction force is inversely proportional to the air gap square, and the performance is very sensitive to the turns on and turn off angles, and the performance is very sensitive to width of the stator and rotor poles. So, ratio L A upon L U. That is the line. Allowing inductance to allowing inductance should be as high as possible. So this can be achieved by proper shaping of the external rotor pole. So greater the number of allowing pole pairs and equal to GCD of N S N R, the higher the elect, higher the electromagnetic torque. The electromagnetic torque and efficiency are very sensitive to the saturation of the magnetic circuit. So typically coming as a design workflow in S R M design, the scheme of performing calculation by the analytical model is presented and the flux path and M F associated. In each motor parts are calculated after the flux linkage, and each post position of the rotor is calculated. Then after the change in core energy is is for a given change in rotor position is used for electromagnetic torque. So this scheme is performing calculation by 
implementing analytical technique here for with the input data and geometry, define the magnetic field, force, transverse and coaxial position, calculate the reluctance of individual circuit elements for path, coaxial and calculating the MF, F equal to NF, N phase, I phase, calculate the magnetic flux for the each path of the coaxial and transverse position, calculate the associated fluxes and coaxial position, phi and the transverse position phi u and based on the magnetic fluxes phi and phi u, determine the um, Determination of the baseline curve, calculation of combined fluxes phi for the all angular position of the rotor based on baseline curve and fluxes phi and phi u and calculate co energy, calculate WC, calculate the electromagnetic torque T as a change of co energy delta WC for a given change of rotor angle position delta theta at constant phase current I phase and torque presentation on the plot. Now coming to with the design of SRM, determination of initial geometry, selection of material. Unless it's electromagnetic, post processing to calculate the electromagnetic characteristic of machine, then aesthetic requirement, winding configuration and control strategy, dynamic performance of SRM, and dynamic requirement, and, and these are typically simplified flow chart for the design of the electronic model. Now, coming to typically flow chart of SRM design optimization, start with design objective, then project approachment, then initial design, then go to the typically design. Uh, determine the design space, dynamic simulation with proposed model for therm for uh, have to have a thermal check if yes, reach experimental limits, yes, global sensitive analysis with Taguchi and if it is no, then update the dimension and Taguchi method and if you have to take high sensitive parameter typically as well as low sensitive parameter and with this you go ahead with the optimizing HSP with LSP fix and NGC optimization with the multiple objective here, determine the HSP with the decision makers and optimization LSP with the HSP fix, WG method optimization with only objective and then performance evaluation and end. Now this is the workflow starting for stator. So from start, our voltage stator and rotor poles, speed, efficiency, the average AC and rotor speed, then calculate the KVA, calculate the output coefficient, choose the different B average AC, calculate DNL. And determine slow dimension, slow dimension, design the phase winding, determine the conductor size, then calculate the total number of stator pole, stator conductor, determine the air gap length, and print all value and stop. And then coming to the sub process of main dimension, so start with again input data, power speed, efficiency, power, mag MF, magnetic electrical loading, winding factor, stacking factor, go to select the stator pole, and P equal to C0 D square L and I, and calculate the Output coefficient K1, K2, K3, KED, P average AC, 5000, and then calculate LC up to C, so A equal to C upon 5 upon P, then calculate D square L, P equal to C0 and S, and from this you calculate D and cube root of D square L upon A, and then calculate L equal to A into D, then with Li, Ki into L minus and D, WT, and stop. Then coming to flow chart for design of the router, start with given the design specification and parameter fund. Find the main dimensions D and L, determine the air gap length and rotor diameter, then go to perform selection plot, study number of plot conductor and winding design, then determine the number of rotor pole, pole height and back current, depth of the code, determine copper loss and calculate the torque. If the core torque is not open, what if the plug density and resistance and go back? If yes, then come to final temperature rise, theta, and if temperature in limit, then print the result. If not, then change the conductor size, slot size, and the current density and have a iterative loop. Now, coming to finite element design of the select touch motor. So, for a finite element design, analytical design equations are developed to predict the performance and design of, of the SRM. And analytical calculations are required for the initial dimensioning. After that, static electromagnetic performance analyzed using the finite element method. And then, the after dynamic performance of SRM through FEM is completed in motor performance. So, as a flow chart, it comes with the input. We start with the initial parameters PD, IP, B, bus, NR, and T total. Configure that PS, PRQ, and B, S max individual SRM design with the PO, P in upon P out, and HS upon HS, and T upon D. Output parameter D in, D out, HS out, and V. Uh, is the result acceptable? Yes. Uh, plot a static characteristic with the lambda i theta and t i theta and if no then you again go configure it 
then if yes go to dynamic preference start to the characteristic result are acceptable now go to the again to start if yes uh, fm analysis of l and theta l i theta and theta result of acceptable now go to back if yes find output dimension confirm now coming to this is static characteristic and look up table based modeling recommended to use electromagnetic finite element analysis tool for the characterization of the silicon motor it is possible to estimate the static characteristic of the motor using analytical method but it can be dip, difficult to do accurately considering the nonlinearity in srm so fa tools can match reliably and quickly provide more accurate results than the analytical methods and most software can be scripted to generate different geometry quickly now fa static analysis you to generate the flux linkage data the flux linkage data is taken as the each rotor position by exciting the phase winding the magnetic characteristic is described of the required current limit and then after develop model is used to analyze the dynamic behavior of the srm and srm requires different modeling technique to analyze its dynamic performance and coming to srm characterization procedure to obtain the lookup table the flux linkage and torque lookup tables are generated for an number of different currents and for different electrical angle theta so phase current array i phase include the current only for the one phase and the other phase current are zero the mutual flux linkage between the different phases is negligible in srm the lookup tables for one phase can be used to model all phases so typically coming as a step n equal to 1 then i phase equal to n00 then go to the run the current the constant current fe and if check for n equal to capital n no then go to n plus n11 if yes and go to typically lambda characteristic of lambda as a function of i phase theta and invert the flux linkage characteristic lambda as a function of i phase to i l u t and a lambda and if and then calculate the current and then and from the same you calculate the torque and go to 2 so now mathematical model for integrator based the flux linkage and torque lookup table are generated for n number of different currents and for different electrical angle the flux linkage in discrete form can be expressed as lambda equal to k equal to lambda k minus 1 in bracket v minus ri and in bracket lambda k minus 1 plus as a function of lambda and theta uh, into ts where ts is the sampling time used for solve the discrete time integration and k is the represent the discrete step number and i u t represent the current current needed to achieve the certain flux at a given position now coming to math mathematical model integer based to simulation model to solve the flux linkage and ultimately the current since the mutual coupling is typically negligible in srm it can be assumed that the flux linkage of a given phase is only dependent on the current in the phase and the rotor position and here the solving the voltage equation for using integer so starting with the voltage come to discrete time model lambda as a function of lambda k minus 1 and the v minus i r into ts go to Find out the lambda, and with theta go to current, and then go to current with the back, and with the delay again go to lambda if it is less than theta, then reset the integer with the lambda k minus one equal to zero, and these are the typically flux linkage current lookup table. Uh, inverse of flux linkage lookup table before conversion and after the conversion. Now coming to dynamic model of SRM. So since L U T represents the nonlinear characteristic of the silicon machine. the voltage equation can be used to calculate the dynamic current waveform and once the current waveform is calculated it can be applied to torque lut to calculate the dynamic torque generated by each phase and typically goes in the manner like a typically comes from the controller input v then discrete model flux then go to lambda with the theta and get equal to i go to um, i back and if from the ipm come to t and from t to k and then t equal to summation of all phases and then t k now coming to fe design case study 1 so external rotor stick to tens electric motor for electric wise bicycle the design process start with the mathematical analysis using stir design technique and mathematical analysis for for both the initial design with the assistance of matlab and mx excel then the 2d fe was applied to validate the mathematical model and also to optimize stir rotor pole arc then typically with the e bike kinetic model parameters given here with the bike of front brake kg with the front wheel 0.3 meter then acceleration due to gravity 0.98 and density of air 1.3 then air 100.5 and the head of friction 
12.5 meter square the section 0.04 and the gravity end of road 0 so all the relevant parameter of the e bike for the top the comment calculation is summarized then after using the duty cycle for the e bike calculation and hence the required torque in different modes is determined and these are typical r1 bike bike velocity cycle speed versus time and the another is b is the e bike torque component and on velocity cycle and similarly for this these four motor output power variation for the one velocity cycle and they have a variation torque speed and left and operating point of the velocity cycle so now coming to the proposed 6 to 10 structure is particularly suitable for three phase external rotor based on the analysis the 6 to 10 external rotor is therm capable of delivering 500 watt at 500 rpm and with the outer diameter of 220 millimeter and axial length of 25 millimeter is the design challenge and this is typically external rotor typically you can see how the design 6, 6 to 10 SRM look like and then the multi-modal multi-domain design methodology diagram starting for design objective initial zoom then find out the initial geometry then static electronic analysis and dynamic and control strategy then optimization flux final design and then temperature I check now you have to go back and if yes you have to stop then this flux linkage profile characteristic of 2D final element and experimental comparison and the second is flux linkage profile comparison with the 2D and experimental test and these are typically experimental phase current and voltage at 500 rpm with the excitation angle minus 3 to 14 degree and current comparison between experimental 3D FPA model at 500 with the excitation minus 3 and 14 degree so the dynamic test results show that the maximum output mechanical power at 500 rpm is about 364 watt with efficiency of 77 percent output power is lower than the analysis result which is mainly caused by and winding and stator stack laminations section reduction which gives the efficiency here typically for so now coming to finite element design case study 2 design and analysis of w stator reluctance motor design strategy concentrating on power adding calculate the dimension of a double stress reluctance motor and the characteristic of double stress reluctance are achieved utilizing the analytical and 3D FE analysis. So, section B of the DSRM with four parts outer stator, rotor, and inner stator, and shaft. And this is a design typically the dual stator, single rotor, reluctance motor, and dual stator and dual rotor single phase, reluctance, single shaft, reluctance motor. These are the initial parameters of the you know and then the assumptions typically values then you have a the board diameter of inner rotor is uh, SRM is obtained from the power output equation d out two root of k out upon k e k d k1 k2 k b s out into nr and the outer electric loading uh, of the rotary SRM is given by s out equal to 2 into i into m into t phase upon pi into d and the output torque of the inner rotor can be calculated t out equal to k d k e K to K3, B into S2, D square L, and the yoke thickness is found to be SY equal to D out of BS beta S by 2, and then the stair pull height calculated as of B0 by 2 minus D out by 2 minus BS SY out. The height of the rotor pole is defined as HR equal to D out by 2 minus LG minus DRY, and magnetic field density is given by H is D out equal to D out upon B0, and number of turns per phase per peak. Current density is at page equal to H G out into 2 LG upon IP and the area of cross section of conductor is calculated is equal to IP J into root Q and board diameter of the outer SRM is obtained from the power equation T in equal to Q root of T in divided by KD K E K D K1 K2 K B S into NR then the tor torque output of the outer SRM is T in equal to KD K E K2 K3 B into S into T D square into L and the the stereo of thickness is B by S by N equal to D in into beta S by 2 and the stereo of product is S S N equal to D 0 on 2 minus D N by 2 minus B S N sin. So, the magnetic field intensity is defined as S G equal to D in upon B 0 and the number of turns per phase for B current is H equal to H in true L G upon I P and this is typically the full shaping of the segment S R M. These are the geometrical and electrical specification of design inner rotor SRM and the geometric and electrical design outer typically SRM and these are the typically the flux density plot for double layer so motor dual stator and dual rotor on single shaft 
and these are the flux linkage versus rotor position of double run double dss rm and dss rm and torque versus rotor position dss rm then this is the total iron loss of the motor versus rotor position and efficiency characteristic dss rm srm now coming to final element design case study 3 then alternate rotor geometry was selected as motor machine with reduced torque appeal to find element analysis has been used to identify the best rotor geometry for maintaining average torque while the minimizing torque appeal and tangential vibration of the stator so a rotor with optimum design flux barriers has been designed to be used along with the conventional srm the rotor is structure designed to be close to a cylindrical rotor and use the optimal placement of the air gap air flux barrier in the rotor so this is typically the rotor structures designed close to the cylindrical rotor and uses the optimal placement of air barrier in the rotor as you can see on the typical rotor designed for new rotor and original rotor now coming to by optimizing the flux barriers the reluctance or slope of the inductance is profiled to prevent sharp rise in the flux density at the point where the rotor and stator poles start to overlap and this process will reduce the magnitude and variation of the tensile force in the air gap and results in the smooth and quasi ball shaped torque profile and these are the SR, yeah, SRE specification these are typically the single phase torque profile for the original and new motor and this is the typically the three phase torque profile original and new motor and new motor have certainly less torque capable and this is the inductance profile of new and original and new motor and these are typically key by kinetic model parameters versus uh, values typically radial force and rotor position with the tensile force density typically four peak and rotor position new and original motor and these are the rotor stacks of new motor and on the left and original motor on the right and these are typically static torque profile form of the measurement from NFE analysis for original new motor. These are the typical three phase torque profile of new have a less torque profile. And then this is the typical efficiency over the speed range at full load and partial loading. And these are typically vibration test of newly and new motors, which clearly say that a vibration is less in case of typically in the new motor, which is reduced to one third in many cases. Now coming to finite element design case study 4, so a modular hybrid excitatory reluctance motor with two groups of a magnet, the new modular hybrid excitatory reluctance motor is a magnet embedded between the stator teeth. The effect of the magnet is to reduce the magnetic saturation in the teeth of the stator pole and yoke and to increase the magnetic flux in the air gap increases leading to a significant enhancement of developed torque and this is typically the MSRM topology with the include the structure with the two teeth 16 by 8 and three teeth 24 by 6 and four teeth 32 by 34 and five teeth 40 by 42 I mean, as you can see here in the typical the modular hybrid with the a two three four and five teeth per pole and the magnetic flux path in 16 by 8 MSG SRM both below and above zero excitation current are shown the motor yields a low cog in torque to zero because of the phases excited are not uh, phase coils are not excited and the magnetic flux of pm does not reach the air gap so here it is a predicted map flux path without excitement and with the excitation and this is typically the reluctance of the stator yoke stator pole rope rotor yoke air gap and two sets of magnet are shown here as the rsy rsv rry rgpm rpm and rpm two respectively Additional EMF of excited coil and two sets of PM are FE, PM1, and PM2 respectively. That is magnetic equivalent circuit of the 16 by 8 MH ESRM. And this is the simplified steps for magnetic equivalent circuit and simplified equivalent circuit for the 16 by 8 RM. These are the key dimensions for four phases for MH ESRM and state characteristic for the rotor position for the four phase motor at excitation of rate, typically 6 ampere. This is the magnetic flux distribution and magnetic flux into vector in the 16 by 8 SRM on a line and with no excitation and a line position with no excitation and line position at the 6 ampere and line, uh, line position with 6 ampere. And this is the typically the magnetic flux density distribution in the 16 by 18 and with an line position with no excitation and line position with no excitation and with an line position with 16 um, 6 excitation current of 6 ampere and line position with here with 6 ampere. And these are the compare of total reluctance PM 
टॉर्क विद ऑफ सिक्सटीन बाई एटीन पी आर एस में डिफरेंट करंट टॉर्क टोटल टॉर्क इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टॉर्क पी एम ग्रुप टॉर्क पी एम ग्रुप टू टॉर्क पी एम ग्रुप वन टॉर्क एंड पी एम ग्रुप टू टॉर्क एंड दिस इज द टिपिकली द कॉगिंग टॉर्क प्रोफाइल ऑफ द फोर मोटर्स एंड प्रोडिक्टेड डायनामिक बिहेवियर ऑफ द सिक्सटीन बाई एटीन एम एच ई एस आर एम मोटर and this is the comparison of predicted dynamic behavior of and measured electrons of 16 by 10 msrm and then coming to optimize the design of the srm so the optimized design of electrical machines is a non linear multi objective problem and electrical machine design objective such as highest efficiency lower cost lowest cost and minimize minimum weight of the active material have to be seamlessly met further this electromagnetic problem should be solved with consideration of the mechanical thermal and material constraint the result of such multi objective engine are in, interpreted with the use of pareto front pareto front is a geometrical entity along with which the improvement in objective can be achieved through iteration of another objective the pareto front can add in identifying a family of the best design it can al it also provide provides a fair basis for the comparison of different machine topology and comparison at only one design point might lead to erroneous conclusion So steps involved in the process of formulating of the design are the identification of objective functions, selection of design variables, and definition of the constraints. Now coming to objective function and performance of the design, typically the torque ripple, delta t equal to max upon minus t1 and t r n, t max upon t n upon t average, and t r b equal to t max t minimum over t average into 100 or delta t r m is equal to 100 upon t2 minus t1 and t1 t2 t t t t t Minus t average square dt, so where t max t minimum are the maximum minimum value of the torque ripple over the one electric cycle, and t average the average torque, and t t is the instant torque as a function of time. Duration t two to t one is the time for one complete electrical cycle, and it is the peak to peak torque ripple, and t r and t r p are the normalized and percent torque ripple respectively, and t r is the RMS torque ripple. Now coming to average torque and torque density, t average equal to one upon t two minus t one. And integral t1 to t2 t into dt, where the t average is the average torque and t is the instantaneous torque as a function of time. The duration t2 minus t1 is the time for one complete electrical cycle. And the efficiency improvement t equal to p mechanical upon p electrical, and that is equal to p mechanical divided by p mechanical p plus pop losses, p core losses, p voltage losses, p others. So it is a SRM efficiency. P is the mechanical is the output mechanical power, and p electrical is the input electrical power. P There are other losses that are not related to electromagnetic design, and as the bearing friction loss. Now coming to radial force and acoustic noise. So F F U equal to U absolute U N R F mechanical. So absolute U N R and small n upon 60 in hertz. So where F is the forcing frequency of radial force harmonic with the electric temporal order U and F mechanical is the total total mechanical frequency N R is the number of rotor pulls and Small n is the rotor speed in RPM. So, optimization methods, several optimization method have been applied to the design of SRM, and this optimization method are generally divided into dynamic and static. So, static optimization technique. So, static optimization determine require the gradient information, and static optimization technique such as optimum solution randomized way that does not require the objective functions gradient information. Now the optimization process can also be divided based on the number of objective functions to single objective, object of optimization or multi-objective optimization. And SRM geometry optimization has been applied to improve the machine performance and to address design challenges. And geometry optimization requires predicting the performance of SRM across all magnetic circuit parameters for certain operating conditions. Deterministic optimization method usually utilizes single objective function, and multi-objective can be can be weighed together with regression method. Deterministic Method optimization method can also be classified as constraint and constraint method. A general optimization problem can be minimized f x f as a function of x subject to g j less than zero and subject to h x equal to zero, where j varies one i vary to one to m and j vary one to l. Now, the coming to historical optimization techniques, search for an optimal solution with randomness. And they can be deal with either single objective or multi objective optimization problem. Swan optimization this algorithm mimics natural creatures social behavior such as birds and wolves in searching for the food and simulate an annulling annulling the algorithm simulate the heat treatment annulling process to reach the best value for the design objective and genetic algorithm the 
algorithm initiate the evaluation process of species and universal algorithms these algorithms mix the evaluation process of space based on the concept of natural selection now coming to optimization optimized design case study one so advanced design optimization for top improvement using the supervised learning algorithm so the dynamic characteristic our architectural to improve the srm performance particularly high speed advanced optimization method utilizing a supervised learning algorithm to factor the surrogate math model for both the static and dynamic characteristic of the srm and to capture the training data and element analysis and matlab simulation models are implemented to study the static and dynamic characteristic of the considered sig by 14 srm and this is typically how simulation based matra you have a operating condition like speed and current and variables theta on theta off and model as a linear and non linear and the output ob objectivity average delta rms and the average upon delta rms and the typically on right side this is a finite element model of the considered sig by 14 srm Now this is the typical static linkage characteristic of sig by 14 as are met various rotation and phase current, and the right side is static torque profile of sig by 14 various rotation and phase current, and now main objective used in develop genetic algorithm maximize the average torque equal to f objective equal to average equal to one upon theta cycle that is zero to integration zero to theta cycle t theta and d theta. So linear constraints are set for the range of the theta on theta of two of each. to effectively cover the operation within the application of design space and theta and theta bar optimize to maximize the average torque so a non linear constraint is the set for phase current i rms that is calculated based on the instantaneous phase current i phase as i, I rms equal to 1 upon theta cycle and integration of 0 to theta cycle i phase is quite d theta that comes less than i rms constraint so to ensure the quality of output torque the rms value of the torque will be determined delta rms equal to under root 1 upon theta cycle and integration 0 to theta cycle t theta minus t average square d theta so stator and rotor pole arc are varied for different design of srm so equation of 50 design candidate for the stator and rotor poles arc angle are considered and following this the fm analysis was carried out and the Plug linkage and average LUT were imported to SRM dynamic model. For each design candidate, the conduction angles were optimized using genetic algorithm to achieve maximum average torque. So the trained machine learning algorithm not only act as a surrogate for the finite element analysis, but also for the dynamic model, including the genetic algorithm optimization for conduction angle. So some of the examples of trained data are here: beta, beta R, which varies from typically. From 8.5 to 9.5, and beta is varying from 9 to 10, and average torque comes typically 4.68 to typically comes to 5.04, and torque will, of course, comes point four one two, uh, point four two eight. So now coming to neural network structure and evaluation, the structure of back propagation, a neural network con consisting of two input beta is beta, the two output of the average torque and torque will. So this BPNN has only one sided. Hidden layer utilizing T-sync as activation function for its hidden neuron, and the number of optimal hidden nodes was identified. The output layer uses a linear activation function for both output, and this is typically the basic architecture of single layer BPN comprises eight, eight hidden neuron to model the considered sig by 14 SRM with the beta as beta as input, with the input layer as hidden layer and output layer, and the output is average torque and torque level. So you can just see the training sets. Mean square MSC is the 2.7 e to power minus 4 newton meter, and the linear regression co correlation is your R equal to 0.00.9997. As the MSC is the very small value, and R is very close to one, and the BPNN exhibit excellent degree of the precision in representing the non-linear characteristic of the considered SRM. You can see how it goes with the approach of 23 finally converging to train validation testing profile of the BPN. So from the result obtained, two design candidate identify DC1, DC2 for choosing as optimal candidate, and relative error of the average torque of DC1 and DC2 is 0.05 percent and 0.36 percent, and the relative error of the SRM torque for DC1, DC2 is 2.1 and 0.03 respectively. So the design variable and functional objective of the baseline optimized candidate are shown typically in the table, and here is the baseline design design candidate one and two. Geometry shown here, and typically here the total torque DC1 for one electrical cycle compared to the baseline. 
and in the second one the total torque for, for DC2 for one electrical cell compared to baseline. Now coming to optimize design case study 2. So design optimization comparison of direct drive output total SRM. So is systematic uh, performance comparison of three outer rotor SRM topology for in wheel traction application in terms of the specific torque, electromagnetic efficiency, torque plant radial force and mechanical aspect is analyzed. A generalized design optimization framework for SRM is proposed to enable the first evaluation of large number of designs generated from the different evaluation by incorporating analytical current profile estimation into the tangent final element analysis. Now these are the flux lines and flux density map for example designs for a selected outer SRM topology with underlying and lying position of 12 stator pole, 26 rotor pole and 6 stator pole and 10 pole rotor pole and the 12 stator pole and 8 rotor poles SRM and 3 SRM have the same current density. So the inductance is, is dependent on the instantaneous winding current and the rotor position as shown in the underlying and aligning inductance at different currents level of the 3 selected topology and here is the typical inductance characteristic of SRM under study as a lying and aligning position. So this 12 stator pole and rotor pole has geometry has the shortest rising and falling time among the three SRM, so the 12 stator and 26 pole SRM has the longest rising and falling time due to its larger, large underlying inductance and small valency ratio, which here it is shown the current profile used for in the optimization. So in 12 pole on stator 8 pole rotor and 6 pole stator 12 pole rotor SRM, seven independent geometry variables are considered and the 12 pole stator and 6 26 pole as it 11 variables so with the constructed current profile two dimension 2d fe models with current source excitation are developed in addition to the total active loss and total active mass torque pill radial force and mechanical aspect converter v rating and silent series are evaluated and this is typically geometry design for variable used in the parametric model for 12 stator pole and 6 26 rotor pole srm 6 stator pole 12 srm and the 12 pole and 8 pole rotor Independent variables are shown in black, black fonts, and those in blue and between parentheses are the typically the constant in on the D diagram. So now coming independent design variables and their parameter ranges are shown here for all three uh, select and motor geometry. And these are the optimal design solution for mass and loss. The variation of mass versus loss together, the torque ripple indicated in the color for a 12 pole 26 SRM and 6 stator pole 10 rotor pole SRM and 12 stator pole 8 pole SRM all 3 SRM this is the cross section of selected parameter design with the lowest mass for 12 stator pole 26 stator pole M1 and 6 stator pole 10 and rotor pole M2 and 12 stator pole and 8 rotor pole M3 design so M1 shows the better performance in terms of the space of torque power and torque ripple M2 has the highest electromagnetic efficiency and goodness uh, factor, but the lowest torque density and space of torque due to the large stack length and, and coil size. And M3 has the largest torque power density, uh, the small and coil, but the electromagnetic torque efficiency is greatly reduced. So now, this is the typically performance of the lightest design identified. Now, stack length is modified to obtain from target 18. Uh, millimeter to at 600 rpm and the current density from varies from 400 ampere per millimeter is per for m1 m2 at 3 design and the prototype and coming to optimize design case history 3 so it's a multi objective optimization of srm based on design experiment and particle sound optimization a sample srm design with multiple optimization objective that is maximize torque per active mass maximize efficiency and minimizing torque repel is conducted we are starting with a 6 by 10 SRM DI problem with the 14 independent design variables. A new class of small three level designs known as definitive skinning design DHT is employed to perform sensitivity analysis to identify the significant design variables without the bias of interruption, interaction effect between the design variables. So these here independent design variables for 6 by 10 SRM. Even here with the different geometry on the diagram. And the optimal performance of SRM, the three objectives that is minimum torque level, maximum efficiency, and maximum torque per active mass are selected for the multi objective. And here, design specification of this SRM. And the torque ripple is defined at TR equal to T max minus T minimum T average and T max T minimum 
एंटी एवरेज आर द मैक्सिमम मिनिमम एंड एवरेज टॉप रेस्पेक्टली एमसीएनसी ऑफ द एसआरएम इज एस्टीमेटेड कंसीडरिंग द फोर ऑन टॉप ऑलसो इक्वल टू टी एवरेज इन टू ओमेगा डी एवरेज इन टू ओमेगा प्लस पी को लॉस अपॉन पी सी वेयर ओमेगा इज द रोटेशनल इज बी को इज द ओलॉस एंड पी सी इज द कपल लॉस नाउ टू इंक्रीज द टॉर्क आउटपुट ऑफ द एसआरएम बाय रिड्यूसिंग द मशीन वेट ऑन द मटेरियल कॉस्ट एवरेज टॉर्क एक्टिव मास इज कंसीडर्ड टी एम इक्वल टू टी एवरेज अपॉन एम सी यू प्लस एम एफ ई वेर एम सी एन एफ ई आर द मासिस ऑफ द कॉपर फायर एंड फ्लो द मोटर रेस्पेक्टिवली तो ना ऑप्टिमाइजेशन सब्जेक्ट टू द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन द एवरेज फ्लक्स डेंसिटी इन द स्टेटर एंड रोटर पुल्स एट द लाइन पोजिशन बी एस पी बी टू आर बी बी आर पी शुड मीट द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन टू अवॉइड द लिविंग एंड तो बी एस पी लेस एन बी सेचुरेशन एंड बी आर पी लेस एन बी सेचुरेशन द करंट डेंसिटी जे इज लिमिटेड ड्यू टू द टोटिकल क्वेश्चन विच लिमिट द ऑपरेटिंग टेम्परेचर ऑफ द एस आर एम तो जे शुड भी लेस एन जे मैक्स एंड द स्टेट स्लॉट स्पेस इंक्लूड द नेट अवेलेबल स्पेस फॉर द कॉपर वायर प्लस स्लॉट लाइनिंग एंड इंसुलेशन तो यूजली फिल फैक्टर इज कंस्टेंट बाई थर्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंट एंड फॉर द सिक्स बाई टेन एस आर एम विद हाइस्ट नंबर ऑफ फ्लोटर पोल द रेस ऑफ फुल सर्टिफाइड द जोमेट्रिकल लिमिटेशन फॉर द पोल कॉन्फिगेशन विच कैन बी रेस्क्राइब एल्फर लेस दैन टू बाई अपॉन एन आर इन टू बीट आर बी एंड द ऑप्टिक जिप फंक्शन एक्सप्रेस एज वेट सम ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट मिनिमाइज जेड एक्स दैट इज डब्ल्यू वन टी आर अपॉन टी आर डेस प्लस डब्ल्यू टू एंड ईटा डेस अपॉन ईटा प्लस डब्ल्यू थ्री टी डेस एम अपॉन टी एम सब्जेक्ट टू कंडीशन वन टू फोर एंड एक्स आई वेरीज फ्रॉम एक्स एम इनमें एक्स एम तो आई इक्वल टू वन टू फोर्टीन तो वेर एक्स इज द ऑल डायमेंशन गिवन है डी आर आई डी आर ओ डी एस ओ एल जी एल आर आई एस एल एस वाई एल एस टी के एल आर एल फार एल एस बी आर पी बी एस पी डी डब्ल्यू आई सी एन एन टी द वैक्टर ऑफ डिजाइन वेरेबल्स ऑफ डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू थ्री एंड द वेटिंग वैक्टर डिफाइन डब्ल्यू वन प्लस डब्ल्यू टू प्लस डब्ल्यू थ्री इक्वल टू वन एन टी आर डेस डेस एन टी एम डेस आर द बेस्ट वैल्यू एंड एक्स वन एंड एक्स आई डेस आर द लोअर एंड अपर बाउंड्स ऑफ ईच डिजाइन अवेलेबल रेस्पेक्टिवली नाउ कमिंग टू द फ्लो चार्ट ऑफ प्रपोज मल्टी ऑब्जेक्टिव डिजाइन ऑफ टी एस एंड फेयर बैंक तो स्टार्टिंग विद द डिजाइन वेरेबल कंस्टेंट्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव वी डू देंसिटली जनरेट द सैम्पलिंग पॉइंट बेस्ड ऑन डी ओ डी कैलकुलेट द मशीन रेस्पॉन्स इन द एफ ए सोलवर कैलकुलेट द वेरियंस बेस्ड सेंसिटिव इंडिसेज सेलेक्ट द सिग्निफिकेंट डिजाइन वेरेबल दैन आर एस मॉडल कंस्टेंट जनरेट द सैम्पल पॉइंट फेड ऑन ए ई एल एस टी कैलकुलेट द मशीन रेस्पॉन्स इन एफ ई ए सोलवर डिटर्मिन द सिग्निफिकेंट टर्म्स इंक्लूडिंग द थर्ड ऑर्डर आर एस मॉडल बेस्ड ऑन पी एस ओ कंस्ट्रक्ट ऑप्टिमल थर्ड ऑर्डर आर एस मॉडल एंड कमिंग टू ऑप्टिमाइजेशन परफॉर्म द मल्टी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑप्टिमाइज बेस्ड ऑन पी एस वन कंस्ट्रक्टेड आर एस मॉडल जनरेट द पैरेटो फ्रंट एंड सेलेक्ट द ऑप्टिमल डिजाइन विद पैरेटो ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन एंड दिस इज टिपिकल सेंसिटिव इंडिसेस ऑफ टॉर्क पीपल एफिशंसी एंड द टॉर्क पर एक्टिव मास्ट टू फोर्टीन डिजाइन वेरेबल्स इन सिक्सटी बाई टेन एस आर एम वेरीटाइज द एफिशंसी तो यू कैन क्लियरली सी द सेंसिटिव फॉर द दिज पैरामीटर्स लाइक नाउ कमिंग टू वेरेबल्स एंड कंस्टेंट फॉर द ऑप्टिमल डिजाइन ऑफ द सिक्स बाई टेन आर एस आर पी एम विद ऑल दिज पैरामीटर्स एंड देर वैल्यू So the initial design based on the sensitive analysis and three optimal design D1, D2, D3 selected from Pareto front obtained by the proposed third order model mode and the FEM result are compared with the response surface based optimization method typically with the initial design D1 and D2, D3 with different dimensions. Now is the flux and field distribution of the three optimal design in the nominal condition under D1 upper and D2 medium and D3 lower, D3 lower. and comparison of the torque performance of the three optimal srm and the srm obtained from the initial design the four cases then coming to conclusion the ripple torque and the torque per kg of d1 improved by 217 27.15% 9.51 respective y efficiency is 89% and lower than those of the initial and d1 has the lowest torque pull the highest टॉर्क पर एक्टिव मास एंड द लोएस्ट एफिशिएंसी एज इंडिकेटेड बाय पैरेटो फ्रंट दी थ्रू हाईएस्ट एफिशिएंसी द हाईएस्ट टॉर्क पर एंड लोएस्ट टॉर्क पर एक्टिव मास कमिंग टू एक्सरसाइज एंड न्यूमेरिकल कम टू क्वेश्चन 1 द रोटी एसआरएम इज एज्यूम टू हैव स्टर पोल आर्क बीटा इज इक्वल टू 30 डिग्री इक्वल टू 0.52 रेडियन एंड रोटर पोल आर्क बीटा इक्वल 36 0.628 रेडियन आफ्टर फाइनिंग ट्यूनिंग द पैरामीटर्स द कांस्टेंट्स कांस्टेंट्स आर सेट एज के इक्वल टू 0.4 के डी इक्वल टू 1 के 2 इक्वल टू 0.5 Point seven B equal to one point one two one five Tesla and A S equal to two twenty three thousand eight eight six point five eighty per meter K equal to zero point six five five the motor design motor design at three seventy six RPM for a sixty seven point five watt rated power determine the motor motor dimension, stator and rotor and body. 
तो सोल्यूशन जो आउट पावर इज पी ओ इक्वल टू के के डी के वन के टू पी ए एस की डी स्क्वायर एल एन एंड कंसिडरिंग द रिक्वायर्ड पैरामीटर ऑन हेयर टिपिकली देन द स्टैक लेंथ कम्स एल इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फाइव डी तो डी स्क्वायर की ओ कॉन इस फॉर्मूला के के डी के वन के टू बी एस के इन टू स्मॉल के इन टू आर के एम एंड फॉर्म बिच डी कम सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री नाइन मिलीमीटर एल कम्स टिपिकली फिफ्टी मिलीमीटर एंड स्टेक यू थिकनेस बी एस वाई इज गिवन लाइक डी बी एस बाई टू थर्ड ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर एंड एजिंग डी ओ वन नाइन्टी मिलीटर द हाइट ऑफ द स्टेट ऑल एच एस कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड एस कल डी ओ वन बाई टू माइनस डी वन टू बाई माइनस बी एस वाई पोटिंग वैल्यू कम थर्टी सेवन मिलीमीटर एंड द रोटर आर बैक आर एंड बी आर वाई एंड द हाइट ऑफ द रोटर पोल द ट्रांसलेटर एच आर पी आर दैन कैलकुलेट एज बी आर वाई डी बाई टू बी आर वाई एंड इट कम ट्वेंटी फोर मिलीमीटर एंड चार डी बाई टू माइनस एल जी माइनस बी आर वाई पोटिंग वैल्यू कम फिफ्टीन मिलीमीटर एंड द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी देर कैल कैलकुलेटेड एच जीरो एच जी इक्वल टू बी जीरो मी जीरो पोटिंग वैल्यू इट कम एटी नाइन एट नाइन टू फोर सिक्स वन पॉइंट थ्री एम पी आर पर मीटर एंड फोर पी फेज करंट ऑफ आई पी एट पॉइंट फाइव द नंबर ऑफ टर्म पर फेज कम्स टी फेज एच जी इन टू टू एल जी अपन आई पी इट कम टू हंड्रेड टेन पर फेज टू हंड्रेड टेन टर्म्स पर फेज एज करंट डेंसिटी ऑफ जे इक्वल टू सिक्स एम पी पर मीटर द एरिया ऑफ द कंडक्टर हुई कैलकुलेट एस इक्वल टू आई पी एंड डिवाइड बाई जे एंड रूट क्यू तो पुटिंग वैल्यू इट कम जीरो पॉइंट एट वन सिक्स मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर तो क्लोजेस्ट वायर साइज ऑफ दिस क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया ऑफ कंडक्टर ए जे डब्ल्यू जी ए टी रहेज एरिया ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट एट वन सेवन मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर एंड सेलेक्टेड फॉर द फेज वाइनिंग नाउ कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन टू द रोटरी एस आर एम इज एजूम टू हैव स्टर पोल आर्क बीटा एस इक्वल टू एटीन डिग्री दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन फोर रेडियन एंड रोटर पोल आर्क बीटा आर इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री एट फोर रेडियन एंड आफ्टर पॉइंटिंग द पैरामीटर द कॉन्स्टेंट्स आर के इक्वल टू पॉइंट थ्री के डी इक्वल टू वन के टू इक्वल टू पॉइंट सेवन बीटा इक्वल टू बी इक्वल टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव टेस्ला एस इक्वल टू फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड फोर फाइव सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन एंड के इक्वल टू पॉइंट फोर तो मोटर डिजाइन फोर टू फिफ्टी फाइव आर पी एम फोर फोर्टी वाट रेडियर पावर डिटर्मिन द मोटर डायमेंशन ऑफ स्टेट रोटर एंड वाइनिंग तो फ्रॉम द आउटपुट पावर पी इक्वल टू के के डी के वन के टू बी ए एस डी स्क्वायर एल एन एस कंसिडरिंग द रिक्वायर्ड पैरामीटर सोन इन द टेबल हेयर तो स्टेक लेंथ फ्रॉम एल इक्वल टू पॉइंट एट डी एंड फ्रॉम एल कोटिंग फ्रॉम आउटपुट इक्वेशन डी कम्स सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम एंड एल कम्स सिक्सटी एम एम दैन द स्टेटर थिकनेस इज गिवन बी एस वाई डी बी वाई टू ट्वेल्व एम एज यूम डी ओ इक्वल टू वन नाइनटी द हाइट ऑफ द पोल कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड तो एच एस इक्वल डी अपॉन टू डी बाई टू माइनस बी एस वाई तो वोटिंग वैल्यू इट कम फोर्टी फोर एम एम द रोटर बैक आर एंड विथ पी आर वाई एंड द लेंथ ऑफ द पोल रोटर एच आर पी आर द कैलकुलेट बी आर वाई बाई डी बाई टू बी आर वोटिंग वैल्यू इट कम फिफ्टीन एम एम एन एच आर इज डी बाई टू माइनस थ्री माइनस बी आर वाई दैट कम फिफ्टीन एम एम एंड मैग्नेटिक इंटेंस फील्ड इंटेंसिटी इन द एरिया इज कैलकुलेट एज एज इक्वल टू बी वन म्यू जीरो वोटिंग वैल्यू इट कम फाइव वन सेवन टू फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एम पेयर पार्लियमेंट स्क्वायर एंड फॉर द पी करंट ऑफ आई पी इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट फाइव द नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स ऑफ एज इज टी पी एच एच जी टू जी इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी टर्म्स पर फेज एंड करंट डेंसिटी ऑफ जे इक्वल टू सिक्स मिलीमीटर एम पेयर पार्लियमेंट स्क्वायर एरिया ऑफ कंडक्टर इज एस इक्वल टू आई पी डिवाइड बाई जे अंडर रूट क्यू टर्म्स जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव फोर मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर प्रोजेस्ट वायर साइज इन द एरिया क्रॉस सेक्शन कंडक्टर जे डब्ल्यू जी एटीन इट हैज एरिया ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट एट वन सेवन मिलीमीटर इज सेलेक्टेड फॉर फेज वाइनिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन थ्री ए थ्री फेज टू थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टी फाइव ट्वेल्व बाई एट एस आर एम हैज द फॉलोइंग डायमेंशन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक सर्किट स्टेटर इन डायमेटर डी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन थ्री फाइव ट्वेल्व एंथ ऑफ स्टेप इज एल इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर टू मीटर एंड एयर गैप जी इक्वल टू पॉइंट फाइव सेवन मिलीमीटर रेडियल हाइट ऑफ द रोटर पोल एच पी आर इक्वल ट्वेंटी नाइन मिलीमीटर नेस्टर पोल आर्क बीटा एस सेवेंटीन डिग्री रोटर पोल आर्क एयर इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री स्टेटर वाइनिंग इज बाउंड फॉर द राउंड कॉपर कंडक्टर विद डायमीटर डी डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट एक फोर टू सिक्स विद द ए डब्ल्यू जी ट्वेंटी टू देर आर ए बी इक्वल टू फोर्टीन पैल कंडक्टर स्टैंड इन हैंड नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स पर पोल इज एन पी इक्वल टू थर्टी फोर ऑल द क्वेल्स पर फेज आर कंडक्टर इन सीरीज आज होंगे नो लॉकडाउन में स्टेटर आर एस करंट इज आर एम एस इक्वल फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट एट एम पी एल तो एज होंगे द इलेक्ट्रिक कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ कॉपर सेवेंटी फाइव सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री PR2 आर टू इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव पर वाट एंड वेर
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव मिली मीटर अबिट ऑफ स्टेट एंड रोड पोल्स आर बीटा एस पोल डिवाइड टू बीटा एस फाइव बाई नाइटी तो इट कम्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू मीटर बी आर इक्वल डी माइनस टू जी अपॉन टू बी आर इंटू फाइव अपॉन वन एटी इट कम्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन नाइन मीटर एंड मेन एरिया ऑफ द पोल एस पी इक्वल पॉइंट फाइव बी एस प्लस बी आर बाई इंटू एल इट कम्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टू सेवन नाइन मीटर स्क्वायर एंड मैक्सिमम परमेंस फॉर फुल एलाइन कंडीशन सिगमा जी मैक्स इज मी जीरो एस पी अपॉन टू जी तो बुडिंग वैल्यू इट कम थ्री पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेवन सिक्स टेन पॉल माइनस सिक्स हेनरी एंड परमेंस लेंथ ऑफ प्लग पाथ इन द एयर फॉर अलाइन पोजिशन फ्रॉम द स्टेट पोल फेस इट कम्स एल फाइव मैक्स इक्वल टू एच आर पी प्लस जी दैट कम्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री मीटर एंड मिनिमाइजेशन लेंथ ऑफ प्लग पाथ इन द एयर लाइन पोजिशन बिटवीन दिस एल मैक्म इट्स ए पॉइंट फाइव टॉ माइनस बी एस प्लस जी इट कम्स एट पॉइंट टू थ्री इंटू टेन पॉल माइनस थ्री मिली मीटर and mean path for magnetic flux for a line position l5 equal to l minimum l maximum divided by l minimum l maximum so it comes 6.437 tend to power minus 6 meter and minimum permeance for a line sigma minimum as mu0 s upon bl putting a value it comes 0.426 and tend to power minus 6 h inductance for fully line position is giving a junction all poles while are connected in series so l equal to nph into capital n square into Sigma at by two, so it comes zero point zero two h Henry. Inductance for line points and value it comes n p h n p square into a beta minimum by two. That comes zero point zero three nine Henry. So fully aligned to an aligned position, l upon l u comes putting value seven point two two. The higher the ratio, l of l u, the better performance and higher the power density. Now electromagnetic torque and electromagnetic power. Electromagnetic torque is element half i square l a minus l u upon beta. So it comes one hundred nineteen point five meter newton meter. Angular speed is two by n up n uh, upon fifty. That comes two seventy seven radian per second. Electromagnetic power uh, torque into speed that comes thirty three point one zero six kilowatt. And outer power output power put power and efficiency average distance of which runs from the pole R B T average is one by four tau minus B comes zero point zero three meter. And mean length L M T comes two capital N plus two T A plus Two bs plus two a. They are putting a value of zero point three five five meter, and then cross section area of fixture pile conductor is u j pi d w square by a p into by four. So putting value of four point five four into n power minus six meter square. And resistance per page is typically r equal to n page n p l mean sigma c u at seventy five degree s c u. So putting value of zero point two two six ohm and winding loss is b delta p u t i square r. So it comes nineteen. 1962 watt and rotational loss including windage loss delta v rotation delta v by 4 that comes typically 490.7 watt and core loss delta v equal to delta v by 3 so it comes 1960.3 by 264 54.3 watt total loss is comes here putting a value of all 3108 watt so p out is p l minus minus delta rotation so it comes 32.32.616 kilowatt and input power comes with this 35. Seven three watt kilowatt efficiency P out upon P out is comes ninety one point three percent. And these are the references from which this material provided. So you can look on this if you require. And thank you.